Hi. In this video, I wanted to go down into the details of what the standard is actually saying when it comes to the clauses of the standard. And in this first video within this series, I wanted to explain clauses one, two, and three. Okay. So the first clause states that this international standard specifies requirements for a quality management system when an organization needs to demonstrate its ability to consistently provide products and services that meet customer and applicable statutory and regulatory requirements and aims to enhance customer satisfaction and as such to have a system for quality assurance when it comes to both the needs of the customer and applicable statutory requirements. Basically, in clause one, we are just seeing an overview of what this particular standard is all about, which, as can be seen, it is focusing on the needs of the customers and on normative references or for statutory and regulatory requirements, which is another word for legal requirements for your organization. This means that clause one, basically, we don't need to do anything to meet the requirements of clause one, because the elements that we're going to do to meet the requirements of the management system are explained in uh, clauses and other clauses within this particular standard. Moving on to uh, clause two, okay? Here we are saying that this talks about normative references. And the standard says that the following documents in whole or in part are normatively referenced in this document and are indispensable for its application. For dated references, only use the addition cited, uh, only the addition cited applies. For undated references, the, later, the latest addition of the reference document applies. What does this mean? Okay. First of all, here we are seeing that when it comes to ISO 9001 itself, okay, we have to consider ISO 9000 2015, which is the standard that explains, explains the fundamentals and vocabulary okay, of terms that are used within ISO 9001. So, as such, ISO 9000 is just a dictionary, a glossary of all the technical words that are used in ISO 9001, which are explained in this other standard, ISO 9000. Now, when it comes to implementing ISO 9001 within your organization, I like to use clause two to include all normative references, all statutory and regulatory requirements applicable to your organization. This means that I use clause two to list down all laws and regulations that are applicable to your industry based on how you operate as a business. Okay? This will make sure that when we are implementing the management system within your organization, we are considering all of these statutory and regulatory requirements when it comes to your products and services. Moving on to the third clause within the standard, which talks about terms and definition, definitions. And for this purpose, for the purposes of this document, the terms and definitions given in ISO 9000 2015 apply. Once again, the standard here is referring to the ISO 9000 standard which has been mentioned in clause two within this video, okay, as terms and definitions. And when implementing this type of standard with my clients, I, I like to uh, use this particular clause to list down any acronyms, okay, or any complex words or technical words that are used by the organization. So that when someone external or a new employee is reading the quality management system or the quality manual, they will be able to understand the context in which some technical words are used and they will be able to get familiarized very quickly with any abbreviations or acronyms that are used within your organization. So effectively, those are the first three clauses within ISO 9001, okay, 2015 version. And as you can see, there are no major changes that we have to do within your organization except to list down the normative references or legal requirements for your organization 
within the clause 2 of the standard and in clause 3 of the standard we are simply explaining the terms and definitions that apply to your organization. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And in the meantime, I invite you to subscribe to this channel so that you will be updated of more videos relating to other clauses relating to ISO 9001. If you would like more information, please feel free to get in touch. I would love to help you succeed. Thank you so much.